Recently, I've been getting a lot of questions regarding the gas documentary I've been putting together since last year, which was the gear acquisition syndrome documentary. It's basically been like put on hold. Um, my friend who was helping with the cameras um, doesn't live here anymore, as in, in Australia. She moved back overseas, which is a real shame. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to get some help doing this now with someone else. But the other problem is, too, the people that were available to be in the documentary aren't available anymore, which is the bigger problem. So, yeah, if, uh, I don't know, I'm going to have to try and find another way of finishing this up that still makes sense. I probably should have just taken a camera crew with me shopping a few times. <laughs> probably would have made sense or, you know, taking a camera crew with Rick because he's, he's even worse than me. But uh, yeah, I'll have to, I'll definitely have to um, think of another way to finish this project. The first day of shooting was awesome. We got so much great stuff. So yeah, it all comes down to whether or not um, I can get some help with it and also find people to talk to about gas too. I haven't been a as actively looking yet. I may have to put word out on Facebook and see if anyone's interested in being in it as well because uh, yeah, a friend of mine, Alex from Alex Old School on YouTube, he's going to help me with the camera work or he said he can. But yeah, we're going to, I basically try to line up a day with another friend of mine who wanted to be in it who uh who i guess had other things come up or wasn't available which which was a shame so i'd like to thank everyone for you know for asking about that been getting a lot of questions about it lately and it's one of those things that uh, i'd love to finish it's like any project you start it i don't like it just sitting there doing nothing i like to i like to have it done so yeah, whether or not i revisit this later in the year or whatever i'll have to i'll have to see how we go with this project and if it doesn't end up working i might just have to put together you know what i have in a, in a short video maybe a 10 or 15 minute video something like that and i'll make use of it somehow it might not be what i originally envisioned but if we can find some people to help that would be awesome if you are in melbourne australia and you want to be in a documentary or help with the documentary leave some uh, comments in the youtube video and I'd love to hear from you. You can email me also at intheblues at outlook.com if you are interested in that. If you're going to ask me gear questions at that email, please just do it on YouTube. Uh, I don't want my inbox flooded with gear questions. I get way too many of them that I can't keep up with already. So if you don't hear from me, actually, you know what? Head over to facebook.com slash intheblues if you've got any gear questions. That's kind of like the place that I'll answer most of them or all of them, actually. I'm on 100% at the moment. And also at intheblues.net is my forum. That's an even better way of reaching me as well. So that's a good discussion forum over there. But yeah, the uh, the documentary is one of those things where, you know, you start out really motivated and everything's happening. And then, you know, as soon as something, one or two things don't work, you know, I, I'm in a situation where I'm stuck with it at the moment. And I'd love to finish it. So if anyone is interested in helping out with this project, absolutely let me know. I'd love to hear from you and uh, yeah, let's hope we can get it finished.